can I get a budgety whoop whoop <laughs> Oh my goodness, hey budgeties. Welcome to my YouTube channel if you are new. My name is Mo, I'm 27. I'm working on my financial freedom journey. Okay, so what does financial freedom journey means for me? It's working on savings, it's working on paying off my debt, working on growing my investments account, growing my income, tracking my spending, all of the above. In this video, I am gonna go over my first paycheck for um, the month of September. And you're probably like, sis, you already did your first paycheck for, the, for September, and I did. But I'm going over my actual. This is going back, making sure um, my money went where I said it should go. So let me show you guys. This was my first paycheck for September. And as you can see, there's a budgeting, um, I'm sorry, there's a budget column, and then there's an actual. Actual is like, okay, budget, this is where I want you to go. Actual, boom, this is where you really went. And that's what I'm gonna tell y'all. Cause sometimes, you know, we can expect for our money to go somewhere and it doesn't go there. Or a life happens or a bill was overdue or something like whatever. And um, I'm gonna say my money didn't all go where I wanted it to go in this paycheck, but I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna track a couple, you know, some spending. It was only a few days because in between me getting this check, I also went on a trip for work. So that trip was paid for, but y'all do another budgeting video for that. Anyways, if you guys are interested in watching, make sure you stay tuned. Oh, also, hello. Has anybody seen how many subscribers we have? Like, come on. I am so great. <laughs> Odd and perverse way. I'm, I'm rather grateful. I am so grateful. I am. It's like 1900 and something. It's, it's high. It's close to 2000. One, I'm grateful that you guys literally watch my videos okay listen to me talk and go over my budget so appreciate you for that thank you and then two i'm grateful that like you guys actually press that subscribe button because i be watching people on youtube and sometimes i don't press the subscribe i'm just being honest and that's true because just because i like a couple of videos doesn't mean i want to subscribe to you <laughs> so i'm so 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 grateful if you haven't already subscribed make sure you hit that subscribe button the goal for the end of this month is to get to 2000 um make sure you like make sure you comment and make sure you stay tuned and you can see how this budget was a little rough okay okay so let's get into this little setup here so, uh-oh, and then I didn't, she done shook the table. She done shook the table. Okay, so we have our $1 savings challenge here, which is self-explanatory, saving a dollar, couple tens in there. Then I got my little coin jar here, trying to do better, see if that can give me a couple duckies. Got a little business card, cause I'm a business woman. She's professional. And then I have some coffee, cause you're not gonna get this in the morning, but it's morning right now and I need coffee. I don't need it, okay? I don't need nothing but the Lord. But I, I like it. So, and I got these off of like uh, TJ Maxx one year. They was on sale when it was past like October. I kid you not, it was a, a pack of four of them for like a dollar or two. I'm telling you, I can't make this stuff up. I mean, I could, but I wouldn't. Like why? And what else? Oh, we got our little plant here and then the book per usual. I've gotten a lot of questions about when um, the planner will go back on sale. You guys, I'm working my booty off. Y'all see that MacBook thing. That's me trying to get some money together to get me a MacBook so I can get back to printing. And cause y'all know I be making my book by scratch. So I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I promise you I'm working on it. But if you guys are interested, you can still um, get the digital copy and then down download it and print it off yourself. It's a little bit more affordable and probably a little bit more easier for a lot of people, especially if you have an iPad or something like that. So let me take a sip of my coffee. Um, today I just put like regular milk and um, what do I put and sugar in it, not any creamer because one we have none, and two I, I kind of miss like my coffee the old school way, which was cream and sugar or milk and sugar but light on the milk because she may or may not be lactose but that's my business <laughs> intolerant okay so we're gonna go here i'm gonna do red for everything that was wrong <laughs> and it shouldn't be that much but you never know and i'm gonna do green for like everything that was right and i'm gonna try to zoom you guys in a little bit let me zoom y'all in okay so 
first things first i did start off with zero dollars um but let me give a caveat to that i did have money in my account already from what i've been saving for macbook but i'm not counting that because it's specifically for the macbook y'all feel me so let's start off at zero and then my full-time check was one thousand seven hundred ninety seven dollars thirty six cents and then i got some overtime which technically is a, my full-time check but to me overtime is a side hustle so that is um 137 21 and every overtime every side hustle whatever to me goes towards my macbook which is why i put that but we're gonna discuss y'all see how bad my nails look i need to get them done but um it's currently not to my budget darling so let me get my calculator to make sure that that number is right okay so let's do 1797 that 36 uh plus 137 that 21 that is 1934 57 okay simple math to the rescue that 57 so let's tap into it put you to the side and let's get a ride okay so my home bill which is I try to explain this all the time because I get the question and I want to make sure I explain. I just can categorize everything called home, but that includes my half of the rent because I do live with my boo. Um, so that's my half of the rent. That's also my half of electricity and gas that's included. Oh, rent includes water. So rent and water, electricity and gas, and then um, internet. So those three things, 505 is usually my half. And I, prob I promise y'all, I haven't even, I overestimate with 505. And 505... Um, it's really ten ten, one thousand ten dollars and I just split it up. So I overestimate because I always have a little bit of money left over. So that was actually five oh five. And no it's not due, but what I do is because I know I'm putting money to the side, I don't want to just pay a bill like outright, you know what I mean? Like all at once and I put money to the side. So I have a couple of checking accounts. One for my bills, one the money that I actually come in from work and I put into coming from everywhere else. And um, I take that out of the checking account that they deposit my full-time job and then boom, I put it in my bills checking account. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so my orthodontist, um, that was actually $126. So my orthodontist bill for my Invisalign, I actually have that set up on my credit card. So it charges my credit card and then I pay my credit card, my credit card $126 back. So my 130, my, my 130, my phone bill, which is my mom's phone bill, we split, or I mean, we, it's our phones. Um, our phones are paid off and uh, I just go in her account and I pay that. I want to automate it and I'm not big on automation. I would like to automate it, but my mom has like AT&T and so she has her um, cable, which I'm, pro listen, I'm working with her to get rid of freaking cable, but her cable her internet and something else with AT&T. So she already has her um, account automated to do the rest of it. And I just go in and pay the 130. I hope that makes sense. Okay. And then my life insurance is $9.50, which I've been saying for a long time now. I'm trying to see if I want to get rid of this or not. Now here's where we have a little tussle in the gym section. So um, we go to like a really cheap gym, supposedly affordable, and it's usually $10.92, but they charge me even more. And so I had to talk to them and I was like, why y'all add another 42? You heard it here first guys. And I'm trying to see, and 59 cents. That's $53 and 51 cents. And they're like, oh, well you have to also pay this one fee, you know, a year or every six months or something like that. And I'm not going to complain because, you know, $11 for a gym membership is not bad. But I was just like, it smacked me like a ton of bricks. And one. And then two, do you guys just randomly choose when it hits, you know, our accounts for that? Or like, can we choose? Did you did I get a warning? I don't like that. Because I couldn't budget it, you know? I'm like, well, we told you guys there was like a fee. Okay, but <clears throat> could it have been in the beginning or the end? You just randomly choose a month where you charge us this fee. And this better be the only extra fee I see. So... Yeah, I'm putting that in red. $53.51. Yuck. And then we have the Apple Music. Um, and that was $5.99. So that one was green. So let's just add these up. $53.51 um, plus $5.99 plus 
plus nine dollars and fifty cents plus one thirty dot thirty we're going up <laughs> plus one twenty six plus five zero five so that's eight hundred thirty dollars and thirty cents and i'm gonna do this in red because it's different eight thirty thirty you guys, I look at my budget and I just see, like, even with bills, first of all, splitting bills, listen, it's a privilege. And I'm so grateful to have this ability to do it because if you've been here for a while, you know that when I was living in Charleston or when I was living elsewhere, that this was not that. So I'm grateful for that. The fact that the bills, I'm over my bills and it's $830. Like, yuck. I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> Okay, so $830.30. And that's just for one paycheck, y'all. Because in one paycheck, previously, I was putting $800 aside just for the rent. Okay? And mind you, I split my rent. So keep that in mind. So I'm going to do $830.30. And I'm going to subtract it from the total, which is $1934.57. And I'm pointing over here because I can barely see what I wrote there. So it's minus $1934.57. So that's $1,104.27. $1,104.27. Okay. Now. Well, now we go back into the green. Um, this right here is actually a lie as well. But I ended up spending some credit. Okay, so here's my issue with doing actuals. I know I went over. You're going to see that in the transaction. I went way over, okay? I went about 80 something dollars over, but that's another story. <laughs> I'm going to explain that in the transactions. But I want to figure out if I want to write it in here, it's green or red, because I put it on my credit card. And I know that means that it's I still have to pay it back. But then maybe I should do like a whole video about like my little credit card balance. I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to, when it comes to cash, I did take out the $50 though, and I did spend it. Um, I didn't do anything for gas. Some people ask me like, how can you just not put stuff for gas? One, I was out of town for like almost two weeks for work. Um, two, so that means that I didn't have my car, you know, and it was a work trip. So that means my job took care of it. Um, so yes. So I am tracking all of this as green and then I'll just like track the transactions as red because I know it's, I know it's red darling. Okay. So. This is the same amount here, 540. But now I'm gonna take the 540 from the 1,104, 1,104.27, 1,104, um, and I'm gonna minus 540. And that's gonna be 564.27. And I'm gonna write that in red because it's different from this. Okay. 564.27. Okay. So now we get back over here. I definitely was super excited because I'm like, if you if you know, you know, and if you don't, it's okay. It's not an insider. I'm gonna let you know. I am trying to do my best to do more savings and more investments. Um so like emergency fund, I'm trying to get that to ten thousand dollars. Um, I just wanna invest, invest, invest as much as I can to possibly uh retire early and just be comfortable you know i want comfortability so um i did send 80 dollars and i did invest 100 dollars, even though the stock market is kicking my booty and then i did give my emergency 135 however since this is coming out of my checking account most of this not all of this this doesn't this $53.51 affected my MacBook savings thing, okay? So I didn't really give it 137.21. It ended up getting 94.62 because I think that is subtracting from the extra 40 something dollars. You guys, are y'all tracking? Because the money had to add up. And sometimes it don't. Um, but yeah, this time it did. So I just gave it 94.62. So, we're going to add that up. 94.62 plus 80 plus 100 plus 135. That was so out of order. That was 409.62. So, that's different. 409.62. So, I go sideways. And then, 
I'm gonna take that away from 564 of 27. Minus 564.27, that is 154.65. Oh, and that's the same thing, my bad. That's why I'm gonna write it in green. 154. So that puts us back on here. Um, 65. And then, so my actuals here are uh, uh, the same. I gave 100. I gave 50. That's 150. And then you have 465 left over. 465. Okay. So that was my first paycheck actual. And then I'm going to the transactions. And again, like I said, it's only a few of them. I already have my second paycheck budgeted, but there's that. So it's only a few transactions just due to the fact that, um, again, I went out of town. So we're just gonna write these down. So for September 2nd, um, I guess I did like a social amount. I mean a social amount, a social outing with my boo and some people. And I ended up spending, this was not budgeted, $38. Being real, being real. Then um, September, September 3rd, I went to Walmart to prepare for my work trip and I ended up spending $7.05. <clears throat> and then I went on September 3rd, same day. I did a lot on September 3rd. We went to Sam's Club, and so my boo paid for the groceries. I'm sorry, no. My boo, he bought us a water machine. Like, we go through water in here like it's nobody, like nobody's business, which cost him like $200. So I decided to be a decent human being and pay for what was <laughs> bought at Sam's Club outside of the water machine, which cost $87.54, which technically is food technically actually actually there was detergent in there but i'm just gonna say food for the sake of saying food so i'm putting it in red because that's that's a lot and all of this was charged to my credit card so just so you guys know okay so then also on september 3rd we went to the movies that was the day that um they had that five dollar deal or whatever i didn't pay for the movie but i paid for like you know, a $5 thing of popcorn or whatever because my boo paid for the movie. So, this is how credit card debt comes about. Don't be like me. I am, I don't even want to say faking it till I make it. I am trying. So, I will, um, I'm going to do my action for my second paycheck, but also I will be getting my per diem back for um, my work trip. And we can go over like my credit card and how all of that's gonna work and what all needs to go towards that because I got some, I got a lot more transactions, but I didn't wanna list them out until y'all saw the per diem or like you guys at least saw the money that was coming back because it's rough, okay? <laughs> but I'm just being honest. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys was able to relate, learn something, see what to do, what not to do. And I hope you guys subscribe, like, and comment, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.